Hello friends, my name is the Real Emil and welcome back to some more Need for Speed Carbon. Today we are continuing on with our Let's Play and we are going to go and dominate a couple of areas up here because we kind of need to. Right, what we got? Drift, Circuit Canyon, Canyon, Sprint, Checkpoint Race. Okay, uh, so the actual plan for this episode is to actually go and get a new car. Now I did mention this a couple of episodes ago, I wanted to have a go with a, a tuna car, a, a muscle car, and an exotic car. Now, that's still the plan. I think I'm going to buy both vehicles here, just so I know I actually have enough money to buy uh, the car that I want. So, uh, Viper's significantly cheaper than the Corvette, so based purely on that, we're going to get the Dodge Viper, which is going to be a muscle car, which is what we're going to use today. And... We're also going to buy a Lamborghini Mercedes-Lago uh, because that's the car I'm going to use for the end game. Essentially, that's the car we're going to use to uh, defeat Darius with because it's a beast. <laughs> Essentially, and I really like the Mercedes-Lago, and you don't really see it in too many games nowadays. But today we are going to go and jump in the Dodge Viper, and let's just see what we can do to it body kit wise. I I know there's this crazy wide body available for it, which is pretty awesome, might end up going with that one, uh, but I just want to look at what the other ones are, uh, body kit one's okay, two's not too bad, even if it does add some like speakers to the front of it, yeah that's not too bad, uh, what's body kit three like, body kit three is slightly more, yeah, I don't like that, um, I don't want to go for the craziness of, uh, you know what, I've got to go for the crazy, let's go for body kit four, right, as far as the, ooh, I like those. The tri slot looks good on this car. Um, do I want a roof scoop? Not really. Uh, do I want a? W do you? Should we have just the Rocker Five? To be fair, that looks okay. If it was a little bit bigger, right? I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go and auto sculpt uh, that. As for the wheels, uh, what do we got? What looks good on this? I kind of want to go with like some American racing wheels because they look good on anything. But eh, maybe not. See what else is about. What's the OZ? Eh, no. Super Ligera Freeze look okay, I guess. Yeah, I don't really want to auto sculpt the wheels because the wheels, like, the auto sculpt wheels look really ugly. Let's go with those actually. They look pretty smart. Alright, let's just auto sculpt uh, us a spoiler, provided I can, because I think I need various people in my crew to do it. Nope, okay, right. Who do I need? Right, let's just buy all this stuff first. Alright, who do I actually need in my crew to go and auto sculpt? Uh, spoilers, hoods, body kits, uh, da -da -da, spoilers. So I need to recruit Colin the drafter. So, um, you're fired. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but uh, yeah. Right, let's recruit Colin, who's apparently driving around in a Carrera GT, which is pretty cool. Uh, right. Well, it's not actually, I don't really like the Carrera GT, but uh, it's pretty cool that he gets a Carrera GT. Uh, I was somewhat tempted to uh, use that in the uh, final event, just because it's a kind of interesting car. Uh, and you don't, again, it's one of those cars you don't really see too much, but then again, that might be more for the Need Speed Most Wanted playthrough. Right, hopefully, this now looks okay. Like that spoil is that spoiler big enough? That's the question. The answer is kinda, I guess. It'll do. Uh, let's do some painting because I don't really want to leave this blue because the Subaru is blue. I kind of want to go for a green on this car. I've had quite a few green cars. That looks cool. Now, if I can get the black stripes, that would be cooler. And can I get black stripes? The answer is yes, I can. That looks pretty cool. Is there any other stock um, things you can do to this? Uh, it'll be in... Oh, this is just stock. Okay. Um, I could add some camouflage to it, but I'm not going to. Let's just paint the wheels. We'll put them in black as well. All black everything. Uh, window tint. We'll have that black as well. Because <laughs> black looks the best for window tint. And we've spent five... Uh, five, yeah, I was about to say five hours for some reason. We spent five minutes customising the car, but I assume you guys won't have too much of an issue with it. Uh, yeah, we're going to go for the pro tire. We're going to go for the pro tires and put them to grip because we need pro tires. Uh, do we have race brakes? No, we don't. 
We do have Pro Supercharger. I don't really want to upgrade this car uh, too much purely because uh, I need like money for the uh, for the Lambo. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna put transmission on here though. Uh, let's just leave it in the middle because I don't really know what the strengths of this vehicle is gonna be. So how much do we have? We have 117,000. Uh, I, I think we'll get like quite a bit of money from uh, doing these events today. So yeah. Uh, let's start up and jump to this event. Uh, we'll go do this. We'll see how much time we've got left. I'll probably do this territory and then uh, another territory in the next video. And then uh, end up versing Darius and some other guy in the Lambo. Right, let's see how this goes. Um, I've got a muscle car with lots of uh, acceleration, so... Uh... Ah! Ah! Well, that's how it's going to go. Okay. Uh, now, there is one other advantage. Ooh, Christ. Okay, I wasn't really expecting him to pass me, but there you go. Anyways, there is one other advantage of buying uh, the Viper, even if it is very, very hard to control. Uh, one good advantage of buying the Viper now is that uh, if the Darius Canyon event doesn't work out, then these cars, like the muscle cars, uh, are pretty fantastic, uh, apparently. From what I've heard, I've never actually, like, I've only ever faced off against Darius in the canyon twice. Once, I don't remember, and I didn't beat him. So, yeah, that was when I played this game back on PS2. I never actually completed this game until I got it on 360, uh, fun little fact. But, um, I, I've heard on the internet several times that you can actually beat the guy in uh, Corvettes and Vipers and muscle cars very easily because they just have ridiculous amounts of acceleration. Like, they can just get around Darius straight from the start. I don't have any speed breaker. Um, they can just get around Darius straight from the start and uh, get rid of him. Uh, right, handling. Um, not good. <laughs> Admittedly, not good at all. It's terrible actually uh, to drive I'm gonna be honest speeds good the speeds very good actually it probably creams the Subaru by a, a lot but it's not great for actually cornering it's very very understeery uh, I assumed maybe I should have left the tires in the middle because I know if you put them to grip in an Eve speed game that often means understeer uh, either way we've got 200,000 points on that run Let's just hope uh, my acceleration means I can put Kenji in the dirt as I go down this way around because, yeah, otherwise we're going to have issues. And the answer is, yeah, I can leave him. Right, he's going to be right on my ass in these corners, though, especially if I can't corner like I should be able to. Right, I'm just going to focus a little bit on this because it's quite challenging, actually, believe it or not. Yeah, uh, this is kind of what I was speaking about. Uh, I think it was last episode, actually. Uh, when I was speaking about the fact that tuna cars are absolutely excellent to have on the... F well, muscle cars are excellent to have on the first run. Uh, but the tuna cars are better to have on the second run down because they have a lot more cornering grip and you can take much more speed through the corners. These muscle cars are absolutely awful at corners, especially the Viper. Maybe... I should have gone for the Corvette. The Corvette's a little bit nicer handling-wise, statistically at least, anyway. Um, I'm not really too sure. I haven't played around with the Corvette too much, to be honest with you. I know I drove... Um, in one of the challenge series, you go against... Let's just get a collision, get some points going. Um, yeah, in one of the challenge series, you... I'm trying to be a snake tamer, it isn't really working out. I've got to do much better for this last little bit. I've got to get him from up my ass, to be honest with you. Which I can do, but the problem is, the corners just pop up straight away, and I have to be so hard on the brakes because it doesn't get stopped, or turn, or do anything, like, it doesn't do car things. Um, yeah. What was I saying? I was saying words. Uh, yeah, um, basically the muscle cars are nice to have on the first round because you can basically try and overtake and you can get quite a lot of points. But uh, for the second round, you really want like tuna cars and exotic cars are like sort of the best of both worlds. So, 
yeah, the exotic cards are probably best for the canyon battles as a whole, but, uh, yeah. Oh, God, I'm not doing that. Um, yeah, I'll do the territory acquisition races uh, in the in-between sections of the game again, uh, because I'm not doing them now. Let's see how we do on the actual streets where I get to use Speed Breaker and stuff. I don't think for Canyons this car is particularly good, but uh, we'll have to see. There's a Porsche Carrera. Viper, Merch Lago, Merch Lago. You don't really see a lot of um, Gallardos. I have noticed that much. Yeah, I'm not too sure on why that is. I guess it's because the Gallardo... Well, I don't know, actually. The Gallardo must be okay. I mean... I haven't, to be honest with you, I don't really like the Galado. Um Or I didn't when this game came out. This has got the... Shut up. This has got that old style Galado, you know, the ones with like the really tall headlights. Uh, that I, I really didn't like that particular model, to be honest with you. So, yeah, it's a little bit... I don't really like it in this game, so I don't use it, but... Uh, yeah, I'd be kind of curious to see how that car performs, especially compared to the Merch Lago, and actually compared to uh, Darius's Audi Le Mans, because that car is supposedly the best in the game. Um, statistically, that's why it's so good down the canyon and so on and so forth, and Darius's AI is obviously uh, very, very good. So, yeah, I'd be kind of curious to see how like a fully upgraded Gallardo would uh, do compared to Darius. But from what I've seen on forms, no one else likes the Gallardo either, so yeah, it's a bit of a like one where no one really knows, so I don't know, maybe if I play through this game again on my playthrough channel, I will have to investigate that. Also, I do apologise for my driving in this episode, uh, apparently my driving today is just awful. Go Nikki, go, just go. Kick this guy's ass pl for me, please. <laughs> uh, speed. Let's just try and speed breaker over here because I can't control this car to save my life. Yeah, uh, this car is. Uh, we're gonna restart this race. This car, not very good. Gotta be honest. Um, I don't know. There's not really much more I can do than to try and get race tires for it, but I haven't got those unlocked yet. Don't get me wrong, off the line, I can truly muller people. However, I will say, out of that last race, I think I actually got, yeah, it's this Corvette here. Um, I'm getting overtaken by that, just because, as I think I've explained before, um, the whole point on the muscle cars is they're terrible when it comes to handling, and the problem is the AI doesn't really get impacted by, you know, terrible handling. Uh, when it comes to these muscle cars. Usually, for the most part with the AI, when it comes to using uh, muscle cars, you just find their AI is a little bit derpier, and that's sort of it. Uh, that's sort of the handicap they give them. They don't really have the handling handicap, which is a little bit odd. So, yeah, they <laughs> an AI in a Corvette, like a fully upgraded Corvette, would probably destroy everything in this game. I don't think... Any of your crew members use a Corvette at any point. I'm very certain once you get to like the muscle car area of this game, they all swap to like Hemi Cudas and Shelby GT500s because, of course, the only two uh, crew members that actually. Well, there's three crew members that can drive muscle cars. Samson has a uh, Plymouth Hemi and the, oh god, what's he called? Then there's just Sal and Neville, who also drive muscle cars, if you drive muscle cars at the start of the game, which we did, uh, but they've got Shelby GT500s, I believe, so, yeah. That's, yeah, I don't think any of them use Corvette or Vipers, which is a shame, because if I could get, like, a Scout with a Corvette, um, a fully upgraded Corvette, because, of course, you can upgrade the crew cars, that would be probably the best thing ever. Alright, anyways, cross the line. In the Vipper, uh, which is apparently so low it scrapes. Alright, we've acquired this territory. What have we unlocked? SLR McLaren. Hmm. Oh, it would probably be a better muscle car than my current muscle car, but hey. Alright, let's do this final event over here. It's a checkpoint run. 
uh, and we get brakes and suspension tier 3 race package. Okay, excellent. That will really help us out. I actually forgot you could do suspension. So I think um, in the next episode, I'm probably going to... I don't really want to throw too much more money into this though, because I want enough money from the Merchant Largo. And I don't really want to have to sell... Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Right, I don't really want to sell any of my cars to fund the Merchant Largo, I mean... I could sell the 300C. But, I mean, the Viper as well probably would get sold as well. I don't really know how much it costs to fully upgrade the cars though. I think it's about uh, Merch Lago. Uh, I think it would cost in excess of 200 grand. So I've kind of got a hope I've got more than 200 grand. So I think uh, I don't really know. I don't know whether to sort of just use the Viper for this episode and then call it, and then just use the Merch Lago for the rest of it, or whether to uh, keep powering on with the Viper. Because it doesn't handle... Right, actually no, suspension and brakes don't cost too much. If I put suspension and brakes on this, I think I might just be able to deal. Because, of course, it's got stupid fast acceleration and speed and so on. I might be able to just about deal with this for another episode. And then I can save some money uh, for the Merch Alago. It's, of course, worth remembering as well that we've got... Uh, one more territory. After another video in this Viper, I would have acquired another territory. Uh, and then I've got uh, one more territory, race wars, and then Darius to deal with. And I would probably end up doing all of that in the Lambo. Again, like I said, I think I'm going to keep this car about just in case the Darius Canyon goes wrong. Like I said earlier, you know, in case of emergency break glass, and this is going to be our glass, I think. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully... I can, I think I'm starting to learn this car a little bit more, you know, when I'm not focusing on trying to get down a canyon, it isn't that bad, it's, yeah, I don't know, it, the suspension and the brakes probably need upgrading, but to be honest with you, I mean, actually no, I haven't got race tires, maybe I'll have race tires now, I'm not sure, I don't really know what I've unlocked or anything, so, uh, if I get race tires, I'm going to end up putting them on this car because race tires would probably make this thing a hell of a lot nicer to drive so yeah that might be something we look at I'm gonna go down the shortcut which apparently I don't get why the AI cars go down the shortcuts I don't know if it's just in races like the pathfinding AI screws up on them or something but yeah they do let's just kill a taxi because why not and across the line all right there we go <laughs> the front wheels digging through the fender that's how you know this car's slammed Right, anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. We've acquired another territory, which means we are one step closer to beating off Darius. In the next episode, I'm going to make some uh, fairly major changes to the Viper, i.e. get the tyres and stuff done. I'm just trying to think. Uh, transmission, alright, so do we unlock race tyres? Turbo, Lamborghini, Gallardo... Circuit race, unlocks, nitrous, and tires. Okay, so we'll go for this territory, and then we'll go for this territory last, I guess. So in the next episode, I'll go after this territory here. So yeah, anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed, and hopefully in the next episode, we can improve on the Viper. Anyways, friends, thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Real Emil. Until next time, farewell.